I'm Tony Travers from the London School of Economics, and I am with Ramesh Ramata, Ramathan, going to chair this morning's session. Um, we are going to talk about climate change in cities, an issue that presents itself with particular clarity uh, in major cities. I think it's fair to say that because very large agglomerations of people, although they are often an efficient way of living, may produce low demands on resources per head, are often not seen like that. Cities send out signals about the use of heat, the use of light, the generation of pollution that makes them a very obvious way of understanding the, 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 the effects that humanity can have on the environment. Equally, there are often concentrations of policy-interested people in cities who take an interest. We've just seen Wolfgang Novak make the point about Delhi, and I have already picked up my um, material from Delhi about being a clean and green city. Cities do often contain people who have a view about these issues, and that's good for driving forward a debate. Also, and possibly most important, a number of cities around the world will find themselves, if scientists are able accurately to predict what will happen, will find themselves having to cope with the consequences of climate change. Therefore, cities have that third interest in this particular sphere of endeavor. Now, this morning we have two speakers. I will introduce the first, and Ramesh will introduce the second who have a particular take on this.